Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at, uh, in the Dave's Hughes Selection macro set, the Arrays Monochrome. Uh, the first three we covered in another video, they select a band of colour, so from this colour to this colour. With Arrays Monochrome, it goes from completely monochrome upwards towards colour, so you can get you know, a little bit of colour, a little bit more, but the monochrome, that includes blacks, whites and greys. So if I just start that up, click on that once, and it produces a layer here. I unclick it uh, for the bottom one so I can now see what is selected or erased effectively. So I'll bring up this here. Now we can see here, we can play around with this. And uh, it's useful, by the way, to remove monochrome if you want to edit just the colour and just apply this to the colour. So let's look at the leaves in the trees here because everything else is fairly monochrome even the sky it's a lot more monochrome than the in terms of the saturation than the leaves so we can typically what i'll do with this is actually you can put the fine sort of in the middle because you then when you go up and down here to where you kind of want it so i'm looking for again the color and you can then adjust up and down with the fine. So we want to actually take the grey out of the trees here. And uh, we can come back to this later, of course, from feathering. Look at the feather here. Roll the mouse wheel over these to change it. So those change it. And they're not. They'll, this will have a more effect. If you've got a high level of feathering, they'll have more effects. So you turn this up here. If I turn that up to one, so you can see how much it's taken it out of the trees there. Two has actually gone back in again, so maybe that one there, leave it at one and bring this down to take it out of the trees a bit. Then calculation, you can try different ones on there, see the way that has quite different effects. So we'll leave it on zero there. Invert, by the way, is quite useful if you want to look at what effectively you've erased. So if I go invert, now I can see now what exactly I have effectively erased from the picture. So, and you can even use it as effectively a uh, reversal, it's like a, so like a color uh, erase. That's if you use the invert. Now then we can do things with this. So let's go to curves. And we'll do the RGB separately. So I'll go down to the reds. What we're gonna do is bring the reds up to make this a bit more colorful here then go to the greens and turn the greens down it adds a bit of magenta into it notice there's magenta coming over here as well so don't worry about that because we're going to look at that in a minute and blue um upwards is blue we don't want blue bring it down you get more yellow which is what you get in foliage and you get more of these autumn colors this is what i'm looking at here but it's also appeared in some of these areas here so i'm going to go back to the uh, the procedural texture one, which has got this here. Now, if I'm going to if I turn the coarse mono arrays up more, see the way it's actually getting rid of some of these others. Because down down here, this is kind of shadow, but it's not being caught by that. So I'll just turn that up here. As long as it's got the the tree here, maybe I'll do a little bit of adjustment on this just to get the edge of that. So I got rid of all those things, all them. That magenta that was over there, we don't need that. And uh, now if I put the bottom one on, I can, I can see what I'm doing now. We look at a lot more intense colouring here. If I turn the top layer off to see what we were before. So that was pleasant enough. But when I put this on here, you get a lot more of that. But you haven't got the colour then leaching into all these monochrome areas. Anyway, that's it. I uh, hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.